Hello everybody, this is Sandeep here. Welcome to our channel. Now in this particular video, we are going to discuss about the beam theory or the line element theory. Okay, uh, with the help of a very small, thin, tiny little strip of this uh, rod. It is made up of uh, the fiber or the plastic. Okay, so based on that actually we will see certain theory and principles of the structural engineering. Now first of all what is simply supported? Simply supported is like actually this is the beam in which just the small little tiny support would be there here and there would be a point load or something like that it would be there on the top of this. So how it will bend? It will bend like uh, Isha, can you please come here and put a little more finger here? Yes. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Yes. So she is putting the load here. You can see this is basically the little triangular shape, bending moment. Okay. Now, Isha, you need to put one load here, one load here. Okay. okay. Huh. Now you put slightly, can you uh, come this side? So that the camera people can... Uh, this is basically the bending. So can you see that it is going in this direction. This would be like the, the curve. So whenever there is a UDL, it will be the bending. Whenever there is a point load, it is a triangular shape. Understood? Okay. Now, thank you, Isha. Okay, I'll call you back if it is required. Now, let's say for example, this is a column. Now, in the column, or... I'll take this as a beam because it's very easy to understand and same theory you can apply for a column also. Beam is basically the bending element, so it bends, okay. Uh, another thing is uh, whenever there is a um, actual force, imagine that this rod is made up of uh, the concrete, concrete is very good into the compression but it's not good into the tension. Whereas imagine that this is made up of steel. Steel is, is uh, good into tension, but in the compression there is a problem. What is the problem? Steel is equal, almost equal to the uh, capacity of the, uh, uh, in the compression as well as tension. But when it comes to the, see whenever there is a tension, okay, it, imagine that this is a 16 mm rod steel dia bar. Whenever you are doing like this, you will see that this will take the tension. But whenever there is a compression, the co whenever there is a compression, it will lead to the bending or the, the, the deflection like this. So that's why if you know that in the steel structures, particularly in the steel structures, you will see that, you know, the compression flange restraint will be there. There is nothing called tension flange restraint. All right. So whenever there is a compression, the moment you do the compression, you will see that the deflect the the, uh, the the element is getting buckled. In case of column also, you will see that the element is getting buckled. So even if this is a steel uh, column, and the moment the compression is coming, it is buckling. So the moment the buckling is there, so I'll call my daughter's help. Please come here, Isha. Okay. Now this is a column. You need to give just the support like this okay in between whenever i'm saying please give the support okay okay no 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 just remove it now i am giving this is a buckling this particular column is buckling like this all right now i'll ask her to restrain this buckling fiber restrain means isha what you do is you just pick it up like this okay mm -hmm. put huh. Now, I am I'm trying to buckle, don't push it, make sure that it is tight, okay? Yeah, so now I'll, I'll, I'll try to buckle it, there will be, you know, some amount of restraint will be there, don't, don't move like this, just put it like this, yes. So the amount of force, the same amount of force I am giving, but it is not buckling at the center. So similarly, we need to give the restraints at various levels so that the compression will, there will not be any buckling issue. So always there is a uh, fiber which is, we, we call it as the buckling restraint. Now, Isha, just help me that wherever it is buckling, no, let's say if it is bending like this, no, you give only support like this. Okay. Uh, give only support like this. Uh, 
don't pick like this only support like this oh. Oh. okay so thank you thank you sir okay see what is happening is initially she has put the uh, the fingers like this means it is fully restrained compression flange is fully restrained another one is just the support so this is unsupported length in this direction okay there is unsupported length there is a unbreast length bracing means what actually you are basically hugging the another person that is bracing imagine that one person is fully drank you know you might have seen in india it is very <laughs> comparatively common in certain rural areas fully drank okay and he is going like this pure na you know uh, out of control body so the person who is handling him he will give the unsupported length initially that okay he doesn't he doesn't sway here and there here and there and all actually so that is unsupported length sometimes if it is too much drinking has happened the person will not be able to stand so he need to embrace it to make sure that he will not fall down the shear collapse will not happen so the first one they just the given support so that he doesn't go like this and all that is unsupported length then next one is unbreast length okay so whenever there is a element which is connected here like this this is unsupported length the moment you connect it here like this how more how much ever the force you are giving the buckling will not happen I, i'll just connect it with here like this the buckling will not happen at the center it is unbreast length okay so that's how it is one is i i told you about the bending bending is like this this is the uh, one more thing is whenever there is a bending action you will see that at this fiber there is a tension at the top imagine that if i am bending it the bending will happen here but at the same time there is a bending on the top also so there is a top bending moment this is a bottom bending moment so you will have the top steel here you will have the bottom steel here all right so this is how the simple simply supported fixed elements and the beams and the columns and compression and tension happen whenever there is a the, there is a rcc column you do not need the, any huge amount of bracing yes if it is a long unsupported column then also you require in rcc also you need it but generally the rcc as a material itself it is not leading to the uh, the, the the buckling action because it is rcc element but it in case but in case of steel you require this connections and all actually so that the um, uh, you know the buckling phenomenon can be uh, arrested uh one more thing i wanted to tell you that why only in the steel we are having this uh, uh, you know unbreast length unsupported length effective length all this parameter because every time you have to take care of the the buckling action see this is this is this is the support through which the leg i am giving this is the unbreast length now i am giving the support so you can see that the forces are going proper if i am applying huge amount of force the buckling happens here so you need to give unbreast length here also here also here also all right so that's why in case of uh, the columns the unbreast length how much it is sometimes people they are getting confused instead of this bracing there will be having only the connection here there is not unbreast length unbreast means the entire compression flange is getting uh, connected by the another element it will take care of this so just by giving certain parameters in the e tabs or stad pro or sap 2000 softwares um, uh, you know if if only little 16 mm bar is connected here and this is let's say ismb 600 the 16 mm bar will not be have give uh, even though in the modeling it will both are lines only but in reality it will act only the small little tiny support so it will not have the impact on the buckling pyramid parameters for having the impact you need to unbreast it understood okay so these are certain technical parameters 
in the structural engineering. I hope you must have enjoyed it. Okay, so um, I hope you really like the video. If you really like it, please give a thumbs up. If you loved it, please subscribe the channel. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.